All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 8 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared and 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now I can actually switch the places of these two exponents. So now I get 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now I can let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable u. So now if I replace 2 to the power of x with u, I get u plus u squared is equal to u to the power of 3. And now if I subtract u squared and u on both sides, I get u to the power of 3 minus u squared minus u is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out u, so I get u times u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I get u is equal to 0, and I get u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. So as you see, we already have one solution of u. So now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I have u is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, or sorry, plus 4 over 2. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these are two more solutions. So now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to u. So let's first start with u equaling 0. So we have 2 to the power of x equals 0. And there's actually no solution to this because you can't take the power of a number and make it equal 0. So now we have u is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And negative number divided by 2 is a negative number. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it a negative number. So this is wrong as well. So finally, I have u is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And for this, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. I can take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So I can move this to the front, and I get x times log 2 is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 log 2. All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 3 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract x to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x minus 3 to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 3 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this is going to equal x minus 3 squared plus x squared times x minus 3 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. And now this is the same thing as x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus x squared times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus x squared is equal to 0 because I just expanded x minus 3 squared. So now I'm going to simplify this to 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 times negative 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0, and negative 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. 
So for negative 6x plus 9 equals 0, I get 9 is equal to 6x, and x is equal to 9 over 6, which is equal to 3 over 2. So this is one solution of x. Now for 2x squared minus 6x plus 9, I have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 2, b is negative 6, and c is 9. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared, which is 36 minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 9, all over 2a, so 2 times 2. And now this is equal to positive 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 8 times 9 is 72, all over 4, which is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 36 over 4, which is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of 36i over 4, which is equal to 6 plus or minus 6i over 4. And if I divide everything by 2 over here, I get 3 plus or minus 3i over 2. So these are two more solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 80. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 80 as 8 times 10. So now I have 8 to the power of x is equal to 8 times 10. And now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 8. So then these two cancel out, and I get 8 to the power of x over 8 is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of x over 8, well, 8 is the same thing as a to the power of 1. So I get a to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. Now, 8 I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x minus 1. And I can simply distribute the 3, so I have 3 times x minus, or sorry, plus 3 times negative 1. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So I have 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I'll get log of 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 is equal to log of 10. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, b is 3x minus 3. So if I move this to the front, I get 3x minus 3 times log 2 is equal to log 10. Now, log 10, that's actually equal to 1. So now I have 3x minus 3 times log 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out. And I get 3x minus 3 is equal to 1 over log 2. Now if I add both sides by log 3, these two cancel out. So I get 3x is equal to 1 over log 2 plus 3. And... 1 over log 2, that's the same thing as 1 over 0 0.301 plus 3, which is equal to 3.3223 plus 3. So I have 3x is equal to 6.3223, meaning x is equal to 2.1074.